breakfast this morning. We've got six ounces of 93% ground beef. I'm more awake, so I want some good flavor, so I'm gonna put in some Greek seasoning first. Okay, I'm gonna zero it out. I'm gonna add some stir fry. I'm gonna do, it's that G Hughes stir fry. One serving is 15 grams, so I'm gonna try. All right, look at there, 15. Then I'm gonna try one serving of this uh, hot sriracha hung hui fong foods. That's the one I got. And it's five grams, so I'm gonna try to get five grams. All right, now. I'm going to have just a little dash of white sesame seeds. And I have this half of a tortilla shell. And I got one more half of them left, so I'll take that to work tomorrow. Then I'll be at the end of them. And, and I know this totally does not match. <laughs> I'm mixing Asian, or I'm mixing Greek, with Asian, with um, Southwestern, but you know, I don't care. It's gonna taste good. And what I could have done was just a fourth of one of those tortilla shells, because I don't need tons of it, but I just, one little piece with each bite, but that's okay, I've already torn it up and I'm not gonna repack it and figure it out, so. Hang on, let me get it all mixed up here. Okay, so <clears throat> Asian slash Greek slash Southwestern ground beef for breakfast. And there you go, that's it up close. So that's tortilla shell, not cheese. <laughs> but uh, hang on, let me see, let me see. Fantastic. 10 out of 10, y'all. Okay, next meal's next. This is breakfast. For lunch, I'm having six ounces of pork steak and two servings of California blend vegetables. Um, I have one of these little pork gravies that I had made a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna put some of this on the veggie and some of it on the pork steak. This has been in my freezer for, I don't know, a couple weeks, and I had a couple of them in the refrigerator defrosting, and I want to use them up, but I don't want them to go bad. If you want to see how I made it, you can go back to my Saturday meal prep probably about two weeks ago. So, now I'm gonna microwave it up, and we'll see there was a ton of flavor in these, so we'll see if I need any more seasoning after I microwave it. Let me get this all stirred together. And I usually push the meat over in with the vegetables. bite of a, uh, hold up, hang on, make sure I get it on everything, back over here, all right, now let me see, yeah, maybe a little salt, all right, so that is what I'm eating today, so it's pork steaks, the vegetables, and some pork gravy that I made after frying the pork steaks with a little bit of um, um, heavy cream. And yep, that's my lunch. See you at supper. Hey, it's 1.30 and I don't know, I'm just wanting something a little fun. I've got a cup that I've had sitting in the freezer. I'm gonna put, do a 
tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters, which is also 15 grams, close enough, um, of heavy cream. So I'm gonna do 15 grams of heavy, heavy cream. Hang on. Okay. I couldn't tell. Thought it smelled funny. Try to get 15 grams ish. 16 grams. Oh, 15. All right. So 15 grams of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna do a little extra squirt of because I don't, I'm sorry. I'm going to use Lacroix. This is orange but it's not super orange so i'm going to put a little black squirt of this orange blast so i'm going to go whoop. and then i'm going to have me an orange creamsicle type situation get that stirring up a little bit when the cream and the sparkling waters, when they hit, they usually cause a lot of froth, foam, whatever you call it. So you gotta pour it real slow and then stir it up. And Went up my nose. Some more. Topping it off. Oh man, I made a mess. Hold up. It's Sunday. I feel like having something a little on the fun side. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm having me an orange float. And this will just taste like, just like one of those push-ups that we had when we were kids. And there it is. That's it up close. It tastes like orange sherbet with a little bit of, um, with a little bit of sparkling in it. So there you go. Yep, that's what I'm having for a 130 drink, snack, something, whatever you want to call it. All right. I'll plug it in. Hey, it's also good with grape too. Or what other what other flavors you might like. So, yeah, it's really good. Supper tonight. It's 6 ounces of hamburger and 2 Servings of the um, Ah Normandy blend. And I'm going to add half of a serving of Rouse uh, tomato basil. So a half cup is one serving that's 125 grams. So I'm going to do half of that. Yeah, you know, I got to pause you to do the math. All right, so 62.5, well, 63, whatever. So we're going to add some salt first. Then we're gonna add some Greek seasoning. Kinda shake it up a little bit. Now, all right, so 62-ish, 63-ish grams of this. Okay, there's 63. All right, now I'm gonna microwave this for a few minutes and I'll get back to you. Well, that's mic or microwaving. Um, when I did the, um, that earlier, whenever I did the, oh my goodness, the heavy cream and the, <clears throat> and the sparkling water, I took, uh, the heavy cream and I put it in these little molds and I did one 15 grams worth so one serving worth 
and I'm gonna I free I froze them. So I made little um, heavy cream ice cubes. They look like butter, <laughs> but um, anyway. And so I'm gonna put them in a little baggie, and then they're just in individual servings. I won't have to do anything extra. Um, I don't have to measure them out now. I can just pop them out and they'll defrost in whatever I put them in. So that's what I'm going to do. Just because I think it, it expires in October, but um, this way I'm not going to have to um, measure them or anything. Go, you know, whenever I want one. Oh, maybe I got more than I thought. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. So you can do this, and then you can add it to things as you want them. But anyway, so yeah. So that is heavy cream that I've frozen. So if I want to cook with it, I can just grab one. Or two or whatever and I'm gonna write on here well here it is heavy cream one teaspoon or tablespoon so that way I know when I pop one out I know it's one tablespoon of heavy cream so tomorrow, there's two different Red Hat Society groups in my town. Tomorrow, I'm going to one that I haven't met yet. It's at Delmonico's, which is a steakhouse, but it's also a buffet. I'll probably get a steak when I'm there. Um, I don't know these people, and so it may not be appropriate for me to, to like video while I'm eating. So I'll try to take a picture or tell you afterwards what I ate. You know, I just, I don't know. I have to kind of play it by ear. Um, you know, with people, you know, hang, using your phone in social settings is not considered polite. And so the other ladies, I've eaten with them twice and they know I do it. So I'll have to see how this group of ladies are. Now let me see how this tastes. Hang on. It's good, but I want some more. I think it needs a little more of this Greek seasoning. And a little more salt. Therefore, consequently, let's just see. Now, let's taste it again. Oh, yeah. There it is up close. So six ounces of hamburger broke, chopped up in little bite sizes and two servings of Normandy blend. And that's my supper tonight. Have a good night, guys. Here's my macros for the day. They're a little higher than usual, but that's okay. Gotta go with the day. Bye.